then um, you should be taking runs coming out of it, but the rest of them are pretty frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating. Just uh, what we've spoken about. Uh, in review of the Highlanders game, just our learnings, what we spoke about pre-game, um, and that was we're in building and maintaining pressure and value, valuing possession. When and we just didn't do that, you know, we turned out way too much ball tonight and um, cost us the game. Did you view it as a big opportunity missed there, just given the way that things went in other games and everything this weekend? Hundred percent. Yeah, we had uh, we had an opportunity tonight to. Um, you know, if the other teams in the conference, and we don't talk about mm. that at all, but you know, now the game's done, it's, it's an opportunity lost. Darcy, on debut, one positive, I guess? Yeah, he was good, wasn't he? And that threw himself around. I uh, thought he added, uh, added a little bit, as did um, Jordan Jackson Hope. He hasn't played this year, he's played a couple of games. He's been very good for his club and, uh, and continued, uh, continued that uh, in the 20 minutes that he played. Kind of saw the highs and lows of Banksy at night. Is that just him kind of finding his feet a bit at this level? Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. You know, he's a young player learning. Only he's this is his first full year of Super Rugby. You know, he played played a few games last year. Did some great things tonight, Banksy. And you know, obviously he'll learn from a couple of uh, mistakes as well. But um, you know, we got young players in in, uh, in key positions that are, that are you know learning some things uh, the hard way at the moment you know, it was probably similar last week in that last 20 minutes against uh, against the highlanders uh, but i thought overall i thought our first 30 minutes was passive um just wasn't good enough the first 30 second uh, the last 10 minutes of the first half we managed to uh get possession build pressure maintain pressure and we scored two tries so that's that's the message that uh, we've been speaking about, and something we'll continue to uh, to, to talk about. That's really your thoughts on that. We just didn't take the opportunities when we had them. I think we had four or five cracks. We turned it over one or two meters from the try line. I mean. We spoke about building pressure and getting down there and running them around the corner, and we did that. And then we just took, coughed it up, turned over possession, and we we're running back, chasing the kick. So, if we're going to beat teams, we've got to hold on to the ball and build pressure. And we didn't do that tonight. Here in Dan, say you guys played passively, like something you guys have spoken about not doing. Does that hurt as a playing group? Yeah, it does. And we haven't spoken about it before the game. We knew they were going to come out pretty, pretty hot and pretty passionate. Start, start fast, but we knew if we weathered that, but we need to be better in that first 20 minutes. There was too many, too many mistakes, even getting out of our own end. We made a few mistakes with the line out, so you can't give teams that kind of opportunity. And we, we paid for it in that last 20 minutes when we were down by eight points. It's strange. Did it feel strange kind of being out of the pump with them, the man down? They kind of really had that 10 minute period there where they scored a try and camped down there in the third bit. Did it feel a bit odd? Yeah, it did. Um, all we spoke about it, all we needed to do was maintain possession, kick it out and play the way we wanted to play. But then there was there was times when we didn't kick it out, we put ourselves in more pressure and then we didn't execute when we had to. So that that was the issue tonight. Then just one last one. Um, you've made plenty of changes this year to try and find that spark in the right mix. Do you think you're still searching for it and maybe a few more changes this week? Or do you challenge this group to try and get things back on track? Oh, I think you just review the tape, um, blocker and, and see where it's, uh, you know, just look at individual performances, combinations, but um, yeah, so that's it's something that you'll do, I'll do over the next couple of days with the coaches. Uh, I couldn't sit here now and say there'll be a, a raft of changes, you know, as I said, we've got some young players that are learning, you know, we're, we're still trying to find what is the best combination at, um, at this at this point in time in, in a couple of areas. Um, so we'll review the game and see what uh, see how uh, how it all looks both individually and from a team point of view.